Hey everyone, how you doing? If you are new here, I'm Nicole Concilio and welcome to the video, y'all. Today, we are going to be testing out the Game of Thrones X Urban Decay collection. I am so excited for this. I am very new into the Game of Thrones craze, so I'm telling you right now, I'm gonna mispronounce things. Riley's golfing right now, and I just texted him a bunch of things, like, I'll play it for you guys, it was so funny. I was like, Riley, you have to tell me how to pronounce this. Rago, Viserion, Dracaris, and Daenerys. Daenerys is the badass mega queen <laughs> so i have some help from riley he's golfing right now um with his friends so i was like you gotta help me you gotta help me i'm gonna mispronounce everything so yes this is a really cool collaboration my hair i had it up in a bun you know what i'm gonna put it back up everyone could suck my ass it's finally getting warm in LA, so you guys are probably gonna see me with my hair up a lot from now on, so get used to it, and get used to my pretty flyaways. Oh, right here we have the humongous package. It includes a huge, hella cool eyeshadow palette, like, hello, how you doing? There's a pop-up in it. You get a mirror, and then the eyeshadow palette is on the side. It also disconnects from the actual big palette here, so you have this really nice, thin little piece. We have a highlighting kit, we have brushes, we have lipsticks, we have cheek stains. So I'm really excited to go through all of this with you guys. I'm going to list all of the prices and everything down below in the description bar, so make sure you do that. I do not wanna waste time here because we got a lot of stuff to go through, so I'm going to just hop right on in. Before I actually do anything though, look at these brushes, okay? They're little swords. That is so cute. I'm gonna use one of them right now to actually set my concealer for my eyes. And you guys know I'm so sorry to be repetitive and reiterate this hundreds of times, but I am battling with a broken foot right now. Here she is. How you do? I'm not gonna be able to zoom around with you guys as much as I would like to. I really need to take my foot injury a little bit more seriously. I haven't been taking it that seriously and I have a feeling I'm gonna pay for it with my x-ray appointment tomorrow, so I am sorry about that, but hopefully you can get a pretty good enough idea or a good enough look of everything. Look at this sword. So cute. Okay, so to prep and prime my eyes, I ran out of my P. Louise base slash kind of lost it somewhere. I don't know where it is. I have a feeling I left it in Palm Springs. So there's that. But I'm going to go ahead and use the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is actually a very, very, very good primer for the eyes. I typically like to use a concealer or that P. Louise base. I want a thick, nice, full cover consistency in order to get full payout so I'm going to just apply this like so and do the same thing over here also I have the dogs with me in here so if you hear the occasional collar move around or the occasional toenail walking around I have the dogs with me they're chilling out with mom today and then I'm just gonna use this to put everything I also like to use this moment to like kind of underline my brows. So that's also why I've been using a brush when applying this. Oh, I am so excited, y'all. And the new Game of Thrones season is coming out soon, so I really need to catch up. I just finished recently season one, and it was really hard to get through, but I know that the other seasons are really good, so I just have to get with it. I have to get through it. I actually started, like, dating someone around the time of, like, Game of Thrones, like, really came out, and he was like, oh, we gotta watch it, and I was like, no, I don't want to watch anything with you because you're a horrible person, but, like, you know what I mean? So now I'm excited to actually watch it with Riley, and and Riley's really into it, and Riley and I really like to watch our shows, you know what I mean? We love to chillax, we love to watch our shows, get a little movie time going on. He actually doesn't know this, but he doesn't watch my videos that much. I actually ordered a cool little projector thing for outside for us to watch, like, our shows and stuff outside so I'm excited about that little life update for y'all okay so let's get into this palette dun, 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 dun. here she blows so right here 
you have the main attraction, the eyeshadow palette. And I already actually swatched this on my IGTV. So if you want to go and check it out, go check out on my IGTV. But I really off the bat was impressed with the payoff of the shadows, especially the shimmer shades. You know, a lot of the times eyeshadow palettes can be hit or miss. You never know, like honestly. So I have very high hopes for this and I really wanna play around with this section down here, the purple and the golds. And we only have three matte shades. I am gonna be limited with the matte shades, but overall the three matte shades that they chose, I do feel like is really good and neutral enough to make work with everything on here. So I'm like, I'm ready to go. I'm, I'm ready, okay? So I'm gonna start off, I gotta check my notes with Riley, what's this name? I'm gonna start with the shade Nymeria. I think I'm saying that right. Right here, this brown shade, it's pretty, pretty dark, but I'm gonna start with it in my crease. And we're gonna do kind of like a little cut crease situation. I haven't done a traditional cut crease on my channel, I think since the James Charles palette came out. And I know a lot of you guys really want me to get out of my comfort zone. So I am really trying here. I haven't used pink on my channel or maroon or anything like that in a really long time. So yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and go on in and I'm gonna start right here and just kind of get in the crease of my eye and kind of like start the shape going on. Now keep in mind, since my eyeshadow base is wet, we are gonna have to go over this a few times. It's normal, so don't like freak out or anything. And I'm just gonna flick it out like that. Get a nice little cut crease moment going on here. Mo, stop licking your toes. I love you, stop licking your toes. That's not good, you're gonna get a hot spot and then mommy's gonna have to pay for it. He's looking at me like, so I'm gonna go over this just a few more times. Not anything too crazy just yet. So now what I'm gonna do is take an additional brush with no product on it. It's the Morphe M433 and I'm just gonna kind of blend this to soften up the edges a little bit and kind of get a little something something going on here. We're definitely gonna have to build this up a little bit. So this is actually blending and looking pretty nicely. The matte shade that I'm currently using is pretty creamy in texture, so it makes it very easy to actually work with a cut crease, so I'm happy about that. And then I think I wanna try and go in with this little bit of like a reddish kind of shade. It's called Lannister Red, and I think that that is I think I'm saying it correct. So I'm going in with this shade right here and I'm using a very, very, very tiny detailed brush. Oh, and also I just wanna let you guys know there is not a lot of fallout on these two matte shades that I've went into. So that's a nice thing just to keep in mind, you know. But this tiny brush is called the Morphe M515. This is really great specifically for doing cut creases like the more traditional cut creases. So I'm gonna go ahead and go on in and Start to kind of map her out even more, darken her up, intensify it, and then of course when we clean it up with concealer, you'll be able to see really the whole thing and its full effect. I'm gonna do one eye on camera and then one eye off camera. That way, you know, we save a little bit of time, a little bit of a situation. And I'm gonna go over it one more time and just kind of, yeah, the pigment is there. They did a great job on this palette, or at least, the shades that I've swatched and the ones that I'm using so far have been pretty nice to work with. Just going in again with that additional brush with no product on it and just kind of fluffing everything out, making it look a little bit more, just a little bit more better, you know, blended. The key to honestly having really nice blended shadow is to have that brush with no product on it and kind of just blend and fluff everything. That's our, how at least like I feel. That's how I've been able to do really good cut creases. That's how I've really liked to do them. Just everything in general with your eyeshadow. It's like when you go to Small World and you get stuck in your head. That's literally how I feel right now. I am gonna now take the shade, take the black right here, which does have a little bit of shimmer in it, but I kind of tested it and I think if I blend it enough, you won't really see the shimmer because typically I don't really like to put shimmer in my crease, but it's working pretty nice so far. Like 
you know, just a little bit that I did. This is, again, the Morphe M515 brush. I really, really like this brush, and I think it's really great, especially for doing cut creases and things like that. So I'm just following that same line, and I'm doing it very lightly because we are working with black. I don't want to, like, add too much, so I'm kind of just doing it really lightly and dusting off the excess that I have. And then again, that additional brush just here, kind of blending everything. And I gotta say so far, these shades really are nice. Like I'm very, very, very impressed with Urban Decay right now. And then you'll be able to see even more once I add concealer on the cut crease effect. But I'm gonna take a Tweenia brush, a tinier fluffy brush. This is the Morphe M456 going back into the shade take the black and dusting off the excess and kind of going in now and just feathering it out a little bit more that way it's just blended a little bit nicely a little bit better there's not that like too much of a definitive line just kind of doing that business right now dang i'm liking it okay i like the way this looks I'm excited. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye off camera. I'll be back for the cut crease moment. Okay, so I went ahead and took the liberty to conceal and kind of like cut my crease, if that makes sense, hence the name, cut crease. And I'm gonna go ahead and use Dothraki I think I said that right. And it's this really pretty gold shade right here. And I'm gonna use that on the inner corner and then I'm gonna fade it to a purple. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of tap, tap, tap. And I'm just kind of getting down a nice light layer. This is not supposed to be that intense right now. I'm gonna go ahead and intensify it in a little bit. But when your concealer is wet, just know, or like your eyeshadow base or whatever, just know that it will kind of suck out some of the pigments. It's a very normal situation to do and a have. And then I go on in and wet my brush and add Dothraki. This is a very wearable gold, you guys. Like very, very, very wearable. Dang, this looks like perfect. I love the way this is looking. And now I'm gonna go in with the shade Stormborn, which is this really pretty purple shade right above Dothraki. So I'm gonna go in with that puppy right there. And then I'm just gonna kind of blend it, but not worry too much about it right now. Like I said, I have that wet base on. This is not nearly as pigmented as it would be if I didn't have a wet base. So just keep that in mind. There it is, yeah. So I'm just gonna go in and kind of set this down. And then on top of Stormborn, I'm putting Bend the Knee, which is kind of like a topper. It's a purple topper, kind of iridescent. Oh, you guys, that is really pretty. It's not picking up on camera the way it should, but that is so nice. And then I'm gonna take some of that Dothraki shade, the gold, and kind of blend it with the purple. That way it's just looking a little bit more seamless. I like the way this is looking. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye off camera, do my liner off camera, and then be back to test out some of the lip products that we have. Okay, babes, so I popped on some Lily Lashes in the Style Miami. These are honestly some of my favorite lashes ever. And I really like the way that this eye look is coming out right now. I am going to now test out the lipsticks. So the lipsticks are really cool. They each have different patterns from like Game of Thrones. This one has like dragons on it. This one has like a, a really cool kind of like vintage pattern on it. And this one is like a red dragon situation. And then this one has like blue frost, winter is coming situation. So let's try this one first. This is what the lipstick looks like. This is called white walker and it's a comfort matte formula so let's pretty good for one swipe let's do another one yeah you can definitely get it there in two swipes even one swipe is pretty good dang Arr. A little vampy situation. Again, this one is called White Walker. Also, don't mind my lips. I have to exfoliate them. I haven't in a while, and they're looking a little crusty. Next shade we have is called Daenerys. Wait, shit. No, that's not it. Hang on. I gotta listen back to Riley's voice memos. Oh, I was kind of right. Okay, so it's Daenerys Tar... Targion. Targion? Targion? Mm. Targaryen. 
Targaryen. Okay, so Daenerys Targaryen. Oh my god, sorry you guys. And this formula is metallized. So it's got some like sheen to it, some like glitters. That's one swipe and I'm pretty happy with one swipe. I'm gonna go over it again. This definitely is more of a metallic kind of finish. So if you're into metallics kind of like that, I would recommend it. However, for me, I don't really find myself resonating with metallic lipsticks just in general. There's nothing really wrong with this lipstick. I just don't think that personally I would ever wear it. So I'm going to set aside the ones that I do like and kind of put to the sides the one that I don't like. That way at the end I can really get a good like recommendation going on. The next shade we have is called... Cerasi Lannister, and this one is also metalized metallic. So here we go. This one you do have to go over a few times, but that's very common with metallic formulas. This particular shade is very pretty. I don't think it looks that good on my skin tone, but if I am gonna wear a metal between the two, I would definitely pick this one. However, it's still not like a huge, huge fave of mine, just because I don't really wear metallic lips. And then the last shade we have is called Sansa Stark, and it's a sheer, and this one is a nude. Ooh. That's comfy, very hydrating. I like that a lot actually. That one's pretty, I'll probably wind up wearing that. Maybe I'll wear the red though, that deeper red kind of looks really nice. Okay, and the last thing I wanna show you guys is this lip slash cheek stain. And it looks like this, it kind of looks like a vial of blood, which is kind of cool, like very relatable to the actual, you know, story. So this is what it looks like. I want to see how it would look as a stain. Oh, it's a very light natural stain. I wonder if it like builds up though. So it definitely builds and it's definitely very, very natural. I haven't worn a cheek or a lip stain in a really long time. I wonder how it would look as like a cheek situation. I'm almost like a little bit nervous to put it on top of foundation because I don't know how it'll really settle. But on bare skin is kind of cute. It's just kind of like, hey, I got rosy cheeks coming on. And same with the lips, like it's just very, very naturally kind of cute. And then of course we have a highlighter palette to show you guys, but I can't show you that until the rest of my face is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera, finish the rest of my face, and pick out a lipstick, and then let's get on with the rest of this review. Okay, love, so I have my face on and everything else. Sorry for my little flyaways. So I took the liberty of swatching the four eyeliners that it comes with. They're all very pigmented and all have some type of like glitter or sheen to them. They're very, very cute. The ones that stand out the most to me are this blue and that silver, and I will tell you the names right now. The Night King and Lannister Gold. The other two are Winter Snow and Dragon Smoke. So my faves are the Night King and Lannister Gold. So moving on, we have the highlighter palette, which is called the Mother of Dragons, and the packaging's really cool. It has like dragon scales, and when you open it up, you get a mirror and all of these really cool highlighters. You have an egg imprint in them, which I think is really cute. And I am just going to put my finger in these so that way you guys can see some swatches. So right here, I feel like the shade in the middle is going to be the best one for me, which is called Vizirian. Vizirian, I think. Please God help me. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna take the shade Vizirian right here, which I think I'm saying correctly, if not, Please don't kill me, and I'm gonna apply it. Oh yeah, that's a pretty perfect shade for my skin tone, so I'm happy about that. And here we go. Ooh, that's pretty. Dang, you can really build it up too. I'm impressed with that highlighter because usually like Urban Decay highlighters, they kind of are, they fall somewhere in the middle. So I'm very, very impressed with the amount of like 
pigment and shine I was able to get out of it. Now, I don't have any blush in the collection, but I'm just going to add a little bit of Kylie Cosmetics. This is Baddie on the Block. I really like blush. If you haven't checked out Kylie Cosmetics blushes, I think they're really good. And also Tarte Cosmetics has some really nice blushes as well. Oh my god, I love the way this looks! And then for lips, what should I do? Should I do that darker color? I don't know if it really matches. All right, so I am gonna be going in with the shade Sansa Stark, and I'm gonna just apply this right on top. Mmm, this is creamy. You guys know I have joined the dark side, aka the glossy side, and I'm like so over matte lips these days. Okay, and the last thing I have to try, which I'm a little bit scared about, is this cheek stain situation. I'm like very nervous to use this. I almost don't wanna use it. But I will say that it did kind of work really well as a lip stain. It later on kind of like seeped in, I guess, a little bit more. I noticed it when I was doing my foundation. I was like, oh, okay. I'm just gonna take the little bit that I have on my hands and kind of like work it in. So the way that I'm applying it is like dropping it on the back of my hand, then taking my finger and whatever is on my finger, kind of just staining it with that. Ooh, that is really cute though. Okay, you guys, so we have officially checked out this whole collection. So I'm gonna give you some of my final thoughts now, what I thought of the overall collection and also some of the products that were my faves. Okay, you guys, so I have to say I am very, very, very impressed with Urban Decay on this collection. I think they really did a great, great job. I'm, like, blo actually blown away. I wish I had some, like, bad things to say about this collection. It's more just... Uh, just preference like the products that I think that I wasn't like a huge fan of was the metalized lips and then the two other liners which I had swatched on my hand but otherwise I feel like everything was really good like I really liked the Sansa Stark sheer lippy I really liked the white walker matte lippy and as far as the highlight palette goes I think it's really really cool I like the dragon egg imprints in them you have some some color, some variation to play around with, so I do like that. I am like a little bit iffy because you guys know I don't really like to use kits. I'm a much more fan of just like single items, but I honestly can see myself using this again because that middle highlighter was just so, so good. The two eyeliners that I liked that I can definitely see myself using is Lannister Gold and The Night King. These were very, very good and if I'm gonna say like overall what's the one product that I would recommend, like if you could only get one thing from this, it's absolutely the eyeshadow palette. I thought the eyeshadow palette was cool. I thought a lot of detail and work went into this. This eyeshadow palette itself is so nice and put together so well. I was so impressed with the way that the shadows blended and everything. And you have like your topper shades like that bend the knee and the king's landing and you have the bay of dragons like everything really worked beautifully and i really love this eye look that i was able to create i'm impressed y'all i'm really really impressed like i said i wish i had more critical things to say just other than the fact that i'm not a huge metallic lip fan and i'm not like you know, a huge, huge fan of highlighter palettes, but however, that middle shade was so good that like I'm willing to throw away my hate of palettes for this. Like, so impressed, Urban Decay. You guys did a wonderful, wonderful job. And no, this is not a sponsored video. You guys know I would tell you the tea if I really thought something was up. I'm very, very impressed. I think it is worth it. I think if you're a Game of Thrones fan, absolutely worth it. The brushes were cute. This one right here, I feel like is a little bit more like useful. It's kind of like a flat brush that you can conceal with. So if you're gonna get one of the brushes, I would recommend the more flat one, kind of like the one meant for packing or for concealer. This is definitely more of a collectibles item. Like obviously it's not realistic to travel with this thing, but when you're home and you're doing your makeup, like 
This is freaking cool. Like, this is so cool. Definitely one of the coolest collabs that I've seen in makeup in a really long time as far as, like, TV shows go or whatever, you know, just whatever it goes, Disneyland, whatever. I think that this Game of Thrones is honestly one of the coolest collections I've seen in makeup in a really long time. And my hat is off to Urban Decay because they really did do a great job. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe if you like what you see. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!